I wish you well. So this is definitely a sense of, you know, keep pushing with those dreams and uh, whatever it is that you're wishing. You may need to have continued faith um, and then a spark. Maybe follow those new ideas that are coming coming for you. Like, you know, um, maybe visualizing stuff or maybe wanting to start new projects or rearrange or something like that. And then into the unknown. So perhaps this is something that you haven't tried. It could be something that you're anxious about. Um, and then coming apart. So maybe you feel like you have no control. Or perhaps maybe a sense of something not working out. Um, we'll get to the bottom of it. Let's see what that means. It's really a, a card of maybe needing to break apart from a relationship that's not working or maybe there's another person that feels this way towards you so it could go vice versa really um it, it could feel like everything's coming to pieces for whatever reason um you know endings are really sort of hard they're a hard thing to deal with um and perhaps there's a lot of fear because you know you don't fit there in whatever situation that is for you um but this card really does denote um good things coming for you in the future once you separate yourself from the situation whatever that situation might be for you could be different for all of you so <clears throat> take how take it how it resonates so let's see what these mean for you welcome i do hope you're doing well i hope you're staying healthy um, staying safe and healthy with your mindset. Let's see. Let me pick up the cards. I sort of dropped a couple. I want to make sure I have them. Okay. Let's see here. What is card 48? Card 48. Wishing well for the, the viewer, please. So, you know, this is really a sense of uh, a renewal, a rebirth. Um, letting go of anything that isn't quite helping you to grow with the death card it's really a transformation um it it could denote that things are going to happen quickly for you um don't don't give up faith very much what i felt in the very beginning um keep keep your dream alive in your manifestations through meditation through thought through thought through prayer um, whatever it is, however it is that you, you, you know, you ask for stuff, have faith in it. I do see like a quick ending of something. The death card does denote ends, um, endings. So let's see this one as well a little bit. So the king of wands taking some kind of action, uh, going towards something that just sort of makes you feel alive. Um, let's see. What is the King of Wands, please? King of Wands. You have the Three of Wands, which is about manifestation. It's about taking your will forward. Um, definitely moving towards things that maybe you've held back against. Um, there's also a sense of maybe giving messages or receiving messages for yourself. What I mean by that is it's almost as if you've had something that you really had to go out for. Um, it's been quite a struggle, uh, you know, quite a, a, a tug and pull kind of a feeling. Um, but it's almost as if you're ready to look forward. Um, I do feel like with this Three of Wands and the King of Wands, there's really a sense of, you know, taking control, taking some kind of action. Uh, maybe ha learning some kind of lessons along the way. And then let's see, what is the death? I don't know, what's the death card? So, Four of Pentacles. This is really a sense of, um, you know, good things are going to come for you. It's the end of holding back. Um, definitely about trust. And I know the last couple of days, it's really been about trust. You have to trust your intuition. Um, there's a lot of things that you may tend to hold on to but they're really meant to be released um make sure that you're not really holding on to things that are too material um things that maybe are not as sturdy as you think they are um 
But like I said, it does denote some sort of good fortune coming to you. Um, so if you do, if it is something about money, it's almost as if they're saying, um, don't let the money control you. You control the situation. Uh, so really a sense of maybe going forward, maybe you've had money struggles. Maybe this is a struggle in a relationship. Um, take it as it resonates, guys. Let's see. I want to know what's the four of pentacles. So you have the moon and the three of pentacles. So there's a little bit of fear of, of transferring your energy into something that is positive and something that is um, something that's a little bit more sturdy and full of growth. There's a sense of fear in transitioning into something that is balanced, okay? Um, definitely with the moon. Maybe you're listening to, you know, the that inner voice, the negative inner voice that you have, not the positive one. Um, it's really trying to get you to focus on something that maybe you're scared of and facing it face on, following your intuition, really uh, allowing some sort of uh, change to enter, maybe answering the call. You've been getting messages, per se, through spirit, I feel. What is the moon, please? What is the moon? What is the moon? As it fell down, what is the moon, please? So you have the Knight of Wands. Um, <clears throat> there's something that you want to be successful in. There could be a change in career. There could be a change in homes. Um, definitely a sense of change in perhaps maybe yourself. Um, I do see with the Nine of Pentacles, it's almost as if something that, you know, you've been building uh, for quite some time. And I do feel there will be success. And I do feel that with the Four of Pentacles as well, they said you will get some kind of uh, fortune or, you know, some kind of good prosperity coming in for you. But you've got to let go of the fear of having this. So with the Knight of Wands, you're getting some sort of feeling, some kind of passion to maybe move towards a different direction. This could be you or this could be your person. We have a masculine right in the middle and the the moon is feminine. So maybe this is the that feminine energy trying to balance out the masculine energy. Um, let's see, what is the Knight of Wands? This could be some kind of good news coming in. This could be somebody voicing something that they might not have voiced before. Um, it's definitely a change with the wish fulfillment. I, I'm sorry, making a wish. It's something that um, you know, you've been maybe holding on to for a long time. I do see things coming in, just like the death card. I, I definitely do feel there's a sense of um, something coming in quickly, but you being able to handle it. Um, maybe you've learned to compose yourself or somehow to maybe not be so negative towards yourself or towards the situation. I do feel like whatever it is, you're going to be able to take uh, the right action towards it, okay? And the death card is really about transforming. So these could be the things that you've really been sort of scared to, to touch on. Um, the moon is really a confusing kind of energy where... You know, you, um, you you associate a lot of things with fear. And so you might run away from things. But there's definitely things that are in your head as far as new ideas and new projects and a new direction that you want to take yourself. That's really going to give you that sense of a, um, a, good, a good foundation. Um, so this could be in, in relationships. This could be in a job. Uh, this even could be in, in families, you know. Um, so take it as it resonates. Let's see. What is the spark? There's a sense of hope. With the spark, it's almost as if, like, don't lose that hope, you know? Um, you have the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. It's like you're building for a better future. This could be a new job offer coming in for you. Um, if not, it could be, you know matching up to yourself your self-worth okay um when you get to that point that's when you start to attract 
maybe a mate. It could mean that somebody, um, you know, might just call you up out of the blue and give you some sort of offer. Um, I do feel like this is you moving into the future and having some kind of prosperous um, abundance coming in towards you. And that could be in love, uh, finance, um, you know, family, or just yourself. So really, I do see that you're you're sort of building, building on yourself. And it really the focus here is what I feel is you um, and reaching your wishes and your hopes and whatever it is that you're you're searching for. I definitely do feel that there is a sense of um, maybe traveling. Are you moving? Are you going on vacation? Um, I feel with the Queen, uh, the Queen of Pentacles and the Wheel, it's really a sense of um, being able to travel somewhere. Is this a feeling of being able to move? Like maybe you were blocked from moving in a situation. I feel like that blockage is it's lifting. Um, what is the Queen of Pentacles, please? Is this self doubt? That you know, it's sort of lifting. Um, Queen of Pentacles, please. So there's some kind of truth coming in. There's definitely a sense of standing up being, and being bold. Um, really a sense of quickness, too. Uh, where something might have been going really slow, there's really a sense of something coming in quickly. Maybe this is your intuition is on fire. Like your intuition is really like pushing you to go into different routes that you've never really quite gone. Um, what is the Eight of Pentacles, please? The Eight of Pentacles. So the King of Cups. And so this is definitely that sense of, is this you lining up to your, your, your person with the King of Cups? This is really somebody who's intuitive. This is somebody who is... Um, maybe very easy very easy energy uh emotional um let's see what is the eight of pentacles oh i think i said that but let's see if we'll, we'll do it again okay so this could be your new love this could be you coming together with your love and the wheel the wheel please what is the wheel um the empress and the two of pentacles are you making a choice between um, you know, a spouse or even a husband, um, like to maybe leave that or maybe to maybe heal it. There's definitely a sense of being at odds here with the two of pentacles. Um, but you're really giving in to something, um, maybe just a lot, like you have a lot on your plate and it's really asking to perhaps with the two of pentacles, make a choice to somehow simplify things. Um, you may have to choose between partners, definitely. I do see that with the Two of Pentacles. This is a new cycle. It's almost like you have to enter that new cycle, but with no baggage, you know? It's like clearing out the baggage. I do see love here, definitely, with the Ace of Cups. Is this what you're maybe trying to attract or maybe trying to manifest with the Ace of Cups? Um, what is the Empress, please? What's the Empress? The Empress... What is the Empress? You now, you know, the Empress could be a mother, a wife. Um, so the Knight of Cups making an offer, starting over. Um, this could be something that's very full of abundance for you. There's definitely a sense of being able to connect energetically um, with the, the Empress. This is really following your dreams um, and not having any doubt so there could be a love offer coming in as well. Okay, so <clears throat> I think that that would definitely spark an interest, especially if you've been in a place where you've been under that transformation and you've gone through changes and maybe now you're starting to look for things. You're, you're wanting to take action. You're not so much in the place where you're in limbo or hanging um, I feel that this is somebody who's wanting to take action with something um, and really perhaps balance out something. Okay. Um, what is Into the Unknown? Card 7. Into the Unknown, please. So the Five of Pentacles. Whatever it is that you're fearing to get into, like don't carry that fear of you're going to lose it or it's going to fail or they're going to cheat on you or... 
there, you know, something good is not going to happen to me. It's, it's those fears with the five of pentacles that might sometimes keep you somewhat um, secluded from the things that you truly want uh, to create in this world. Uh, let's see, what is the five of pentacles? So into the unknown, it's almost where you just sort of have trust. Um, you, you may find yourself feeling a little bit like, uh, you know, something's not familiar or you can't quite see something or quite grasp it. Um, but it's asking you to have spiritual trust with the number seven. It's really being able to trust something, um, with spirit. And this actually helps you to manifest and to st strategically plan for your future. Okay. Um, you manifest now, but it's going to happen in the future, you see. Uh, five of Pentacles, please. Five of Pentacles. What is the Five of Pentacles? And sometimes, like, the funnest part could be manifesting because you can visualize it and really manifest. And when, once it does come to you, I think I've said this before, it's almost as if, oh my gosh, I forgot I wanted that, and now it's here. So this is really a sense with the Hermit. Um, follow that intuition, follow that light. Um, there's a sort of lighter energy trying to force you to to move towards a different direction. And I don't mean force in a way where it's manipulative, but in a sense where you can feel a change. Uh, there's something that's lingering with you and it's sort of making you sort of go towards a different direction. Um, and I don't take that as a, as a dark entity. I, I take it as a light it's a force, you know, trying to guide you towards a new path. And that's really what it is that, um, you know, your your soul, your inner soul is really trying to guide you to. Um, <clears throat> what is the hermit, please? The hermit. What is the hermit? What's the hermit, please? What is the hermit? So the seven of swords. Don't hold back. Don't be scared. If there's sneaky people around you lying to you or manipulating you or cheating on you or taking your projects or whatever that is, it's almost as if it's okay if you sort of have to sneak away from them. If you feel that you have to sort of break free from something, it is okay. Um, don't hold back. This is really a card of trickery. Either you're holding yourself back in something uh, and you know you have that gut feeling that it's no good for you or it could be other people in your environment or situation that don't quite maybe want anything different for you, if that makes sense. It's a tricky card, really. Um, Seven of Swords, please. So this could be withholding from yourself or a situation withholding you back is pretty much what I'm trying to tell you. Um, let's see. So Three of Cups and the Strength card. You need the courage to maybe come back to something to maybe just be available, to maybe just be vulnerable, to maybe a reunion, a celebration, a sense of life, a sense of unity where you're just really balanced, you know, on the inside, your core is nice and strong. Um, and you're able to be receptive of the things that bring you unity. But with the strength card, it's really almost a sense, I get it as almost like the death card where you have to have that sort of courage to walk through the death the death card, the, the door of the death card, you know, per se. It's like walking through it so that you can somehow transform um, and bring some kind of courage for yourself, some kind of strength, okay? The bottom of the deck is the justice. So is this breaking free, like, from a divorce, you know, or getting a divorce, breaking free from a partner, a business partner? or just a love partner, okay? Um, <clears throat> I think that maybe this is somebody who is somehow scared to take that leap of faith uh, because they don't know how things are going to turn out. Um, definitely what it feels like, like you just don't know what it's going to turn out like, so maybe you hide behind that fear and then you don't do anything, maybe, okay? Um, let's see, what is coming apart? But something is coming, something... Definitely with the, the death card, the very first card that came out, it's, you're going through something. It's very sticky. It's very saddening. Maybe some tears are being shed. Uh, maybe having some kind of, um, you know, fear or night, night terrors, um, you know, because you, you know, you have to make a change about something. Coming apart, please. Um, coming apart. 
But when you come apart and you break free from something that's not good for you, you become somewhat more, um, just like the Queen of Cups, yes, more more lovable, uh, self-assured. Uh, you definitely know where you want to go. There's no question. With the Queen of Cups energy, there's definitely a sense of just knowing where you belong, knowing where you want to go. Or have you been holding back your love for someone? You see how she holds her love, her cup over uh, her hand over the cup. It's almost as if, um, but being very choosy, uh, very picky about who you give your attention to. Um, does this mean you have somebody waiting for you? There's almost a sense of just waiting there with your love for that person that's going to make you complete and here you go you have the king of cups and the queen of cups is this your person that you're somehow looking towards or holding on to maybe have this person in your life or um there's really a sense of having your spirit your your like a, a divine spirit sort of interactive um intervention there we go a spiritual intervention that's what i'm trying to say sorry guys um so i definitely do feel like this could be your counterpart really with the the king and the queen of cups so has your king of cups sort of developed and maybe made that change you know because i do see with the two of pentacles somebody has to decide which direction to go towards um let's see is it you're, with the coming apart too, are you fearing that you're going to bring tears to the person that you have to let go of or some kind of insecurity or some kind of, um, you know, of course, broken hearted. You know, if you break up with somebody, they become broken hearted. Um, Queen of Cups, you're missing somebody. You're missing the Queen of Cups is what I hear. Um, it, it's, it's not that you... You don't really fear leaving something from the past. It's like you fear coming to the future with this person. Um, it's almost as if because maybe you think it won't last, it won't work. Um, Queen of Cups, please. The Queen of Cups. The Tower. Something quickly. Something earth-shaking. Something revealing. Are you scared of revealing your feelings? Mm -hmm. With the King of Cups, if you have this kind of person in your life, um, they will show you with gestures of how they they feel for you, but their emotions and their words, they're really kept under wraps. So is this somebody who somehow lets everything escape and, and says things? See, maybe there's a broken heart here. Maybe there's a sense of separation with this broken heart that I feel a sense of missing and really coming apart because... This is your person. This is the person that makes you whole, okay? So there's definitely a sense of um, an emptiness kind of feeling. What is the tower? What is the tower? It's almost as if you're just tired of feeling this way. Is that what that is with the tower? What's the tower, please? What's the tower? Um, I think that whoever this is, whether it's you or them, it's almost as if you're at your breaking point. Um, the Six of Wands, some kind of victory, some kind of recognition, um, some kind of value for yourself. Definitely a change with the Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot. So really balancing out, striving towards perhaps maybe being balanced or even being single with the Chariot. Um, what is the Six of Wands? What's the Six of Wands? So whatever it is that you're feeling that you're coming to pieces about, It'll get better. With the Six of Wands, it'll get better. It might sort of have to come down, whatever that is, with the tower. But once that's over, there's nothing but positivity that's going to come back in. Um, okay, so you have the Magician. So this is empowering you, really, with the Magician and the Justice card. This is a sense of balance um, that's coming in for you. It's something that is, you're destined to 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 live through to do um to sort of balance out something within your life um this is a masculine and a feminine card so is this you and your person becoming you know somewhat um balanced for each other 
or maybe allowing some kind of um, justice or some kind of manifestation to form, you know? Um, I feel like with the justice too, I mean, this could be a long divorce you've been waiting for. This is could be a long uh, custody battle or um, a sense of feeling uncertainty. But I do feel with the magician, it is very much this kind of energy of, you know, um, spirit somehow trying to guide you to your destiny and to give you a new beginning, a sense of courage, especially with this strength card. I really got that you've got to sort of walk through that door. I, I see with the death card today, I see a door, um, an opening, and it's almost as if maybe you keep walking by that door and looking in, but you don't go through it. Um, and it's definitely a transformation. It's definitely where you let go of all the egos and all the things that just, like I said, they don't, it doesn't help you to grow anymore. Um, it stunts your growth, really. Um, <clears throat> so I do feel that there is something there karmically trying to help you to come apart so that you can start over, if that makes sense. There's that temperance at the bottom of the deck and the fool. So you see, there is a happy new beginning for you, but it almost like takes that little push. Whatever it is you're fearing or holding on to, um, it'll get better once you, you sort of take that leap of faith. Definitely what it feels like. Um, I want to know, how can I end this story for today, please? How can I end this story for today? Wow, the King of Wands. You got the King of Wands twice. Um, taking control. Um, taking initiative. Really growing um, emotionally. Um, definitely a sense of knowledge. Fire. Uh, fire, it's very fast. Like It's a very fast kind of action. Um, something that's bringing you to stability, Mo moving homes, moving offices, um, something like that. Let's see. What else, please? What else? King of Wands. Um, so the moon coming out of fear, um, definitely coming out of fear, changing, um, maybe, you know, letting go of something that was manipulati manipulating you with the moon energy. And definitely not even looking back. You've made a choice. You made a choice to have balance to come into your life. They say this one too, okay? So some kind of communication. Um, definitely expect some kind of communication, okay? Whether that's dreams, you know, texting, phone calls, uh, knock at the door, or something like that, okay? Um, and then the Knight of Swords. So definitely some kind of action. Uh, maybe looking for a way to do it for somebody. Uh, definitely. It, it's almost like needing to break the ice is what it feels like, okay? So let's see. Let's do this one. What is the karmic, the karmic situation that they've been in? Their karmic pattern. What is their karmic pattern? What's going to happen? How's it going to end? Their karmic pattern. Okay, so let's see. You have passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. Uh, the mirror, so mirroring each other, self-image, uh, relationships, um, reflecting over over yourself um this is why i got that i got definitely this card as far as somebody mirroring each other with the the king and queen of cups and with the magician and the justice it's almost as if becoming somewhat equal you know um let's see what is this one so cupid's arrow having faith love is coming surprise an invitation a meeting um, so definitely, even even dreams, I feel, okay? Uh, what else? How will this end for them, please? So, uh, let's see, abundance. So don't worry about the money factor, okay? Really letting go of negativity, not today, like not even listening to anything that's negative, whether it's you or some outside influence. The phoenix, so a new phase. 
rekindling, um, renew, transformation, growth, and then kisses. So definitely, um, I do see a good cycle coming in for you that you can see, touch, feel, all that good stuff. Some good uh, 3D kind of stuff coming in. Uh, what is um, what is the angel message, please? The angel message for today. What is the angel message? Okay. So, Carissa, um, you are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to com comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. So a lot of healing is happening, guys. And your angels cannot help you unless you ask. We have guides. We have spirit guides. And um, they're there. But they cannot reach out to you unless you ask them for help or for guidance. And you sort of have to be sort of specific, okay? So that's for whoever needs that, that message. Um, let's see. What is the words of love? Words of love, please. And definitely, I do feel like you're detaching from something. Um, you are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideas of love and then um forgiveness you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts so that's a big one um and like i said with the carissa there's really a sense of healing and forgiveness really allows you to detach so this is someone who's detaching from um maybe not taking action or being in the material uh, too long you see um what is the soul message for today please the soul message what is the soul message for today please the soul message okay let's see here what expectations do i have that are more impossible to meet um the expect the expectations we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet we then experience disappointment with ourselves and with a relationship when they are not met. It's time to dissolve your expectation and replace them with gratitude. So be grateful. You are being summoned to more peace. Peace is home for you, uh, for your soul, and it is accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you want and you cannot control. If you have, if you expect nothing and are grateful for everything, you will experience extremely fulfillment, extreme fulfillment. So that is so true because that's almost like at the part where I told you what I felt is like once you start manifesting, that's really all the fun part of it. And then when it appears, you sort of don't, you sort of forget about it and that's really where you don't expect it you expect it but you don't it's very tricky law of attraction is very tricky um because you do have to have trust so that brings an expectation of it but you trust so much that you don't look out for it i feel like that's a better wording of it and that's what's happening here uh, don't don't think that the things that you want are too big or not attainable because they are definitely attainable and that's what you're wishing well is and that's that spark of hope continue with your spark of hope um so yeah there i hope you like the message thank you so much for for tuning in stay safe and healthy and god bless you and i'll see you guys tomorrow thanks guys